Hello and welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Giuseppe and my channel is all about live looping, loop covers and music. This time, upon Wallace's request, I will guide you through the loop build-up of Someone You Loved by Louis Capaldi. Before we start, please remember to subscribe to my channel, share the video and give it a thumbs up. I really love to perform this song because it's really easy, it's quick and the audience does not get bored watching you build it up. So this is Someone You Loved, let's jump right in. To perform this song, I'm using the Boss RC300 Looper. This is how we're going to separate the arrangement into the three tracks of the Looper. On track one, we're going to have the main chords and the bass. On track two, we're going to have the beat. And on track three, we're going to have the harmonies. I personally start off with the chord progression, which is C, G, A minor and F. It is essential in this phase not to mess up with the rhythm and the tempo because this is where you set up the whole loop. This is where you set up the whole song. So if you mess this up, the whole song is gonna sound like crap. If you think recording the chord progression is hard, you can also start off with the beat. Okay, so the way I play it is I basically, um, I'm basically playing a C, a G, an A minor, and an F, but only playing the D and the G string. So I play the C like this with my uh, fingers on the 5th fret of the D string and a G string then I go down on the G string on the 4th fret so I play a G then I go up with uh, my fingers on the 7th fret of the D string and the 5th fret on the G string so I play an A minor and then I go down to an F with my ring finger on the 3rd fret of the D string and my middle finger on the 2nd fret of the G string so it's, the whole part sounds like this. There is really no problem in playing it with the whole chord. So it's... In order to keep the rhythm and not to either slow down or speed up the first part that I record, I basically do some picking pattern with my right hand. And it sounds like this. It doesn't matter what pattern you use, just make sure you, you can have a rhythm, you can, you can keep it for as long as two measures with your right hand. And it's, it, it's not sped up or slowed down. So this is how it goes. Right here we have the first part, we have the we set it up and now we keep adding up and building up the layers. First off the bass on the same track. Now we move on to the third track where we're going to record the harmonies. From here, you can either record the beat or you can just skip this part and start singing the song and record the beat the moment you start singing the chorus. I personally don't feel comfortable enough doing that, so I just record the beat right here. Not really as once, but like really quick, in order to start singing the first part, like the first verse, on just the chord progression. I'm going under, and this time I fear there's no one to save me. I guess I kind of like the way you knock 
This is where you start the beat. And now the day bleeds into nightfall, and you're not here again. So I normally stop the beat after the first chorus and start it again uh, when I start to sing the second verse. I'm going under and it's time I feel there's nowhere to turn to. Before you start the second chorus, make sure you stop all the tracks and start them all at once. So you're here. Hey, you help me escape and now the day bleeds into nightfall and you're not here to get me through it all. So this is just enough to perform the whole song. Upon this bass, you can record anything you want, but make sure it sounds good to you. There is one part of the song where you only have to play the beat with the looper and just play along a new chord progression which is different from the one from the whole song, which is D minor, A minor, G, A minor. And the second time is D minor, A minor, and G for two measures. So we are here. From here you have to stop two tracks simultaneously before playing the chord so you only are left with the beat. And I tend to close my eyes but it hurts sometimes. This is it for today. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and hit the like button. Let me know in the comments what other song loop you would like me to teach you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.